What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another Farming Center video. And in today's video, we are back on Estancia La Pacho. And the last video on this uh, series here, if you guys don't remember, uh, we did, we cut this grass right here out in front of me and that I'm showing you guys, we cut all this up. And then uh, we, uh, we organized all of our stuff. We organized almost all of our stuff, considering the fact that some of it is still a little bit unorganized. Got a little grass patch growing in the field there. You can get that fixed up in a hot minute here. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna collect all that grass and then we're gonna get, uh, oh, don't hit that. Brakes on this thing need a little bit of some uh, fixing up if you guys know what I'm saying. Uh, so we're gonna hop in our Case Optima. We're gonna get the field um, cultivated really quickly. We're not gonna cultivate the area where we got the straw because you know, obviously I still wanna keep that straw and I wanna use it because if you guys check out our current straw uh, we have, oh, is that? Is that straw or is that silage? That's straw. We have 178,000 in our hay loft or straw loft, whatever you want to call it. But I need more bales because as you can see, our bales are dwindling down pretty quickly. Let's turn this on to five times. Probably going to have to skip through night here in a minute, but it'll be fine. All right. So we can do quite a bit. I'm going to try and remember. I would, if this was live stream, I would say tell you guys to remember, or to remind me, but we're going to try and remember to not let this guy just go all willy-nilly because he will, like he has in the past, start chopping up everything, and I don't want that because we still got some good, some good straw over there that I want to collect. Back this guy up. Alright, that should be lined up good. Alright, I'm going to finish this row really quick and then I'm going to take it all the way down and then uh, set the worker on it. But the worker, if I set him right here, he'll get all confused and be like, there's still like a huge gap here and he won't go all the way down to the end. So it'll be really, really weird. Alright, but hold on. I'm going to do this really quick and then we're going to go grab our, probably, maybe the John Deere. Probably the Star though. And we're going to start uh, uh, doing tethering. We're going to tet all that up. I don't know, we're going to put it in rows and whatnot. I'm not gonna do. The, I'm probably not gonna use the tether. Uh, let's see how much grass do we have. We don't have any stored, so. But that's. There we go. It's like, what the heck? Pick up. Well, that's no surprise. All right. Let me get this guy going here. Whip him around. All right. Make sure it gets the whole thing. There we go. All right, he's good. Let's hop in our star here. We're gonna get the wind rower, actually, not the tether. What was I saying the tether for? Start this bad boy up. And then our wind rower, if I just whip it around right here, is this guy with a big circular thing. And then I don't think we need any hay right now, because we have plenty of silage, and for cows, uh, hay and silage go hand in hand. Let me show you really quick. Yep, they go hand in hand. And we got plenty of silage, so we're going to be good on that. But we are running very, 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 very low on grass. So we're going to take this bad boy over there, and we are going to collect everything into rows. And then we'll grab the John Deere, and uh, or we'll probably use this actually again. Whichever one needs the most horsepower. But we'll grab a tractor, and then we'll use our Euro Boss, which is our forge wagon. Forging wagon? I think that's what, I think that's what they call it. We're going to use that and we're going to line this or once this is all lined up then we're just going to run through we're going to pick it up and we're just going to collect this and just grass for them we're not going to bale it because we don't really have any need for bales right now um so we're going to be starting sheep here soon and we'll be using that and then actually let me check something really quick i don't know i don't remember per se let me see only can store hay and straw in here so we mm -mm. Uh, so we'll probably let this probably do another uh, round of hay later actually because we'll want some more All right, I hope this thing is big enough to only do like a couple rows or not a couple rows Well, yeah, only a couple rows only do a little bit All right, it's not too bad. All right guys, I'm gonna run through this real quick. Can you hire a worker out? Oh my gosh, we can hire a worker out Oh, I forgot. That's how awesome the uh, these fields are. When you have your grass planted on a field, you can literally hire a worker out for basically anything. I'm going to see how he handles this turnip here. 
I'm really curious. Let's see. Is he just gonna go all the way through and then whip it around? Yep. Okay. All right, then let's hop in our John Deere then. Alrighty. And then for him, we're gonna back up right here. We're gonna drop the front, then or the rear, and then we're gonna drop the front right there because we'll want to use that in a minute anyways, or later on. Anyways, so then let's grab our Euro boss. Hopefully he doesn't have anything in him. I don't think it does. Nope, it's good. Alright, let's snag this. Ah, I was like, why is the three point not working? Alright, let's get the first person on this bad boy. Active seat, John Deere. Come on, there we go. Alright. Yeah, it's empty. Alright, so we're gonna use this and we're just gonna run through really quick and we're gonna pick up all of the grass we might actually be a little bit quicker than the uh, the wind rower is I'm not sure I wonder if we can hire a worker out I'll try and hire a worker out and if it works I'll just take him off right away because I want to do this part because I found this part oh and I hopped out <laughs> ghost riding the uh, the John Deere tractor yeah I want to find out though let's see here all right Turn him on. Oh, he picked up picked up a little bit of straw on accident. It'll convert over to hay though the second you uh, start picking one of these up. Oh, so much green. Oh, you can't hire a worker out. All right, all right. That's fine with me. All right. So we're traveling about 12 miles an hour and I think he might be traveling the same. So for this, what we're gonna do is I'm going to place down a storage shelter. Can we take out any more of loans though? Well, we'll look at it in a minute. But what we'll do is we'll place down a storage shelter and then we'll just store this um, in it. If you guys know the storage shelters, they're, I think they're two or three bays and then the middle bay on the third one is open. Um, but yeah, you can just store stuff in there. It's got three walls and then one opening. So you can just put a bunch of stuff in there and it'll it rises in height so you'll be fine to do it uh gold crest pacific valley the original map for this game uh has like 10 of them on the map no it's not 10 it's probably like, i think it's only like two or three but super super helpful and we're at 59 percent here all right should be good and i think if i pick up any straw it'll convert over to straw Oh, looks like I didn't snag any. All right. How's that guy doing? That guy's actually going pretty quick, but I think I'm a little bit faster. I think the human input is just a little bit faster than his. But his, his these rows, though, he is not missing a single speck. Oh, boy. Yeah, so I'll probably, once I finish this one, I'll probably fast forward through the day. Oh, I was like, what the heck? What's that sound? Oh, and we got to go dump this out. Dang it. Oh, so I'm probably not going to beat him. All right, but what we'll do is probably um, at the end of this episode, I'll fast forward through the day, and then I'll plant hay down, and then I'll harvest a bunch of hay uh, because we're going to need that because we are going to be starting a sheep here. Then sheep go. I'm not really sure if I remember where sheep go. I know where the pigs go, but I don't remember where the sheep go. All right, we'll do sheep, though, because we have a forklift. Uh, we'll probably grab the auto load trailer for uh, items, not the logging one. We'll grab the auto load one for items because it'll be easier to use. I'll just say that. It'll be way easier to use. All right, we're going to go feed the cows real quick with what we got. That is not grass, right? That should be hay, I think, right there. Let me double check what these guys got going on. Yeah, that's hay. At least... Yeah, because grass is a lot darker. Because the stuff that they kick out is grass. Alright. Here you go, boys. It's feeding time. Alright, maximum capacity has reached. So they got six days on their food there. Oh, we're going to have to somehow figure out how to get that bale out of there. I, didn't I forgot a bale tipped into there. Alright, so. For our storage area. We will probably do right here. Right in front of me. So let's see, placeables. We're just gonna check and see how much it is because we gotta take out a bank loan. 
Small storage shelter. Okay, it's not that much. We just need a little bit of money. Borrow. There we go. I forgot that we paid back all of our loan. That was pretty impressive. I didn't. I don't think I've really ever done that that much. All right, let's grab this small storage shelter. Rotate this bad boy. And then we're gonna spin to make sure we're not like placing it on top of anything. Um, I think about here is a good placement. Move it to the, to the road a little bit more. Right there is a good placement because if need be, we can always place another one right there. Yeah, that, I mean, it kind of slopes up, so it does lose a little bit of area for st <coughs> storage. Oh, excuse me. All right, let's dump her. Control I. Yep, see, and it goes. Oh, that's going. That goes insanely high. What the heck? I did not think that thing was going to dump that high. Usually, like, it cuts off and it'll make you stop. That one didn't. Wow, that was. Ooh, all right. So we're gonna stop this case really quick. Actually, it's a good thing I was driving right by here because I would have, I probably would have forgotten again. All right, senor. Oh, that's so loud. All right, you did good work. Good work. Uh, stop you and oh, you shut that off first. There we go. Now it should be good. Now I don't have to worry about him chopping up too much because we still need to collect all this. So yeah, we just need to collect our main, like the main three right now. Grass, straw, and hay. Woohoo. Woohoo, dear. I wonder if I set that wind rower, he would go through and wind row some of these rows. Maybe combine two into one. Ooh. I don't know if they do that. I'll probably have to go and try it in a minute. Oh, and we're negative 8,000. Why are we negative 8,000? When did that happen? What the heck? All right, it's fine. We just got to get that whole thing pulled up, and then we'll plant some more soybeans. What's selling for the most right now? Let's check check crop prices. Oh, what was that? Fourteen thousand. Jeez. Wow, canola. Oh, that's at the train though, and the train yard sucks. Oh, I might have to actually go to the train yard. Canola is selling for an extra $300 per thousand over soybeans, which is absolutely insane. What the heck? All right, flip it around. Gather some more of this bad boy up. All right, so we'll probably go through and I'll collect two or one more full bin and then we'll drop this off and then we'll wait and I won't make you guys watch me do this entire field here. It's a small field, but I don't want to do the whole thing in one sitting here. Uh, <coughs> excuse me again. And then we'll uh, we'll get some canola going actually. Because by the time the canola grows, hopefully, help receive completed his task. Thank you, sir. Hopefully by the time uh, our canola grows and is ready to go, we should be good. And then I'm also, guys, we are also going to pick up a new sprayer. I don't think I have it in the game yet. Let me check. Let me double check. See if I have it in the game. Where is it at? Where is spray? Where's my sprayers? Oh, next one over. Oh, there it is. Sprayers. So this is... No. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, that is expensive. So this is the sprayer. Oh, they have a star sprayer. Oh, oh okay. Wait, wait, wait. 27... How long is this one? 30? Oh, okay, so this one's a lot smaller. We're, we want a big boy. We want a big one. So we're going to go with our John Deere one here. Or we Actually, yeah, let's go with the John Deere one. All right, we will pick that up in just a second. So make sure we are harvesting. There we go. All right, so once we get this tossed back and we set it down and we come back, we're going to be doing that sprayer. And we're probably going to lease it for now because we don't have a ton of money. Depends on the price of the lease. Um... We might have to go and sell some stuff. There we go. We might have to go and sell some stuff to be able to afford it, which would suck. But it would increase our uh, output. Let me see if we got fertilization states. Yep, we got three fertilization states. So 
when we plant it, it'll be fertilized. When we, when it's like starts getting up, like when it grows like two levels, we can do it again. Or no, when it grows one level, we do it again. Then the next level, we do it again. And then it will be done after that one. Um, <coughs> oh man, I'm coughing a lot today. But yeah, so it should be good after that one. And we can do a bunch of fertilizing. And we can even start doing some manure too, if we really, really wanted to. Oh, this thing's not gonna be able to hold that much grass actually now that I'm looking at it. This might be only grass. Oh, there you go. It did stop there. Stop there. All right. We'll pick it back up. We're gonna go drop this guy off, and then we're gonna go grab. We're gonna grab our case here, and we're going to remove the uh, cultivator from it and we're gonna start planting over there we're gonna start with canola because since that canola at the train yard sells for a ton of money whoa there hop in that lip that's what I think our best action should be let's see if I think we still have some down here to pick up yeah we do all right let's drive down here all right line this up there we go so all I have to do is hop in that and get going when we finish. All right, drop this guy. Now let's go grab our planter. I hope we can grab a planter. Sometimes it glitches into the ground and you got some issues with it. It looks good from here. All right, thank, thank the heavens. That would have been bad. All right, so. We're not planting grass. We're planting canola. There we go. Should probably slow down when going this fast with this equipment, but it's alright. Oh, we also need to we need to reset those two really quick. Once we get this guy going, I'm gonna reset those two because they uh, they had some issues for some reason and they didn't really want to. Uh, what would you say? They didn't really want to play nice with each other so like they got all messed up and it's just a big pain in the butt all right get this guy down and jump hey look at that we jumped right over it wow that's racking up our debt pretty quick though that's fine this will this will completely pay our entire debt out because per thousand yeah this whole first row alone will probably pay our entire debt all right whoo Nobody likes being in that. Look at that mud in that wheel well. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I was gonna reset those. I was like, what am I supposed to be doing right now? I know I'm supposed to be doing something. What the heck? No, I don't wanna shop for your brands. Ah. Okay. Let's reset our header that we will end up needing. If we can find it. Wow, we have a lot of stuff. There it is. So reset the 35 footer. Then we need to reset our header trailer. We could find. Oh, there it is. All right. So looks like those reset over there, which is fine. We don't need them at the current moment. We'll need them to harvest, but other than that, they should be good. Let's move this guy out of the way. Come on. I was gonna say, come on, Ford. I know you can do it. I know it's difficult, but I know you can do it. All right, we'll place our ninja on the other side here. As long as this thing's empty, this thing should be able to haul it. There we go. All right, let's throw this guy in the garage. We shouldn't have anything else in the garage right now. Nope, we're good. All right. Pull it forward. Bed of our truck's a little dirty. Wow, look at that. I did not know the bed of the trucks got dirty. Wow, this garage looks pretty big, but when you get inside of it, it's actually super small. Like this truck, holy crap, that truck barely fits. If that garage door came down, Oh, oh, stop the go. Just chop the grill in half. Oh, man. All right, let's find our other truck. 
Ah, oh, there he was. Alright, let's get our Z71. Our LTZ71 Silverado. And we're going to see if we can even fit this thing inside of the... Of the gr garage here. Because I think it's too lifted. So we might not be able to. Oh. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this one. Oh, look at that. We can't fit our truck in there. Oh, that's a bummer. Wow. Oh, man, that's so funny, actually. Truck is too tall to fit inside the garage. We can probably shut the garage door, too. Yeah, we could shut the crush door on it. All right, guys, we're going to end it here, though. I think that's... Hey, look at that door open. So I think that's pretty funny. Uh, next episode though, we will have that fully harvested. We'll have the, we'll have our grass fully picked up. We will have our straw fully picked up, and then we will have this field. Uh, it'll be on our first growing stage, and we will probably start our sprayer. Uh, I'll show you guys the John Deere sprayer. It's like the R forty eighty five or something like that. I'll show you guys that one. I'll introduce you to it, and I'll show you how pretty awesome it is, and how quickly and efficiently you can fertilize an entire field in like a couple minutes. But until then, if you guys enjoyed this video or enjoyed this series, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you guys aren't part of the no notification squad yet, ring that little bell icon so you guys know when I go live. Because uh, I can be a little sporadic at times. But until then, everybody, I'll see all you guys in the next Farming Simulator video.